James Arvadik. I'm an entrepreneur in the food business. I've started three brands now. The most famous brand is Goo, which I started with about 200k, uh, and we sold the business six years later for 33 million pounds. Um, and it subsequently sold five years after that for 185 million. So, you know, I, I walked away too early. Anyway, I, I then started another business called the Coconut Collab uh, in 2014. We make coconut yogurt. Um, in fact, it's the best coconut yogurt in the world. And um, we have turned that into a 20 million pound business. We haven't sold it yet, but um, we've uh, got lots of investors. Some of them made some money already. So again, it's been a big success. Uh, and my third business is called Bondeville, which is a desserts company in the States, which started about two years ago. So it's too early to say, but um, it's quite exciting. Um, so when I talk, I, I talk a lot about the challenges of entrepreneurship. And, um, you know, the thing is with uh, being an entrepreneur, is it, it's tough as nails. Talk to anyone. It's really tough starting these businesses. And there are two skills you really need in spades. Uh, one is you've got to be hopelessly optimistic. And, and the second thing is you need to be really resilient. Um, and I talk a lot in my speeches about those two elements, the resilience and the optimism that you need to kind of carry it through. Um, and like all things, the more you practice, the better you get. Um, and I was, um, <clears throat> I started my first business actually when I was at school, when I was 15. I started my second business at university. I then took a bit of a break before I started Goo. So um, just buying and selling in itself as entrepreneurship. And, uh, and the one thing I love my audiences to go away with is thinking that they can do it. And that's that's really the message uh, that I want to leave people. If, if, if someone like me can start these businesses and, and, and build them into great businesses that people respect and love, it means pretty much anybody can do it. Um, and that's a message that I love to land. So I've been doing corporate speeches for the last 10 years, uh, different audiences, so banks, uh, big companies, small companies, award ceremonies, after dinner speeches. Uh, and the whole, the, the key thing is to tell a story and tell it in a funny way um, that kind of entertains people. And as I say, people want to kind of you know, it engages people and, and, and they believe they could do it themselves. And that's always the, the message I want to land at, at the end. So if you're looking for someone who has built brands, brands that people know and love, I really look forward to, uh, to hearing from you and get in touch.